Hey guys, uh, today is day 24 of our Halloween movie challenge and uh, as you can see uh, Nikki's not with me again today because she's still feeling really crummy. She kind of lost her voice uh, so she wouldn't be able to talk much anyway but she did actually, uh, she stayed up throughout the whole movie for tonight so uh, still counts. Uh, so I'm going to be doing this video alone but today was Shaun of the Dead one of my personal favorites I love this movie um, this movie came out in I believe it was 2004 and th this was a great little surprise for me personally because uh, I love zombie movies and I didn't really have high expectations of it um, you know I never heard of you know uh, Simon Pegg or Nick Frost never heard of these people before this movie and uh, you know then I watched it and I fell in love with it instantly um, Simon Pegg plays Sean uh, Nick Frost plays Ed and uh, the like the gist of the story is uh, you know Sean works like a dead-end retail job you know he lives in uh, an apartment with uh, two of his buddies uh, one of them being Ed, who was played by Nick Frost, and he um, is like a typical uh, loser best friend, you know, great heart, great guy, but just, you know, kind of uh, no job, kind of mooching off his friend, and, um, you know, they, uh, beginning kind of shows like a, their, you know, the average day for them, and then the apocalypse happens, and that's when things change, and they're just trying to survive. Um, now, uh, Sean's girlfriend Liz um, is getting kind of fed up with him at this point and like um, you know always being tagged always being like part of like a a group you know every time they go out it's always like the whole group of friends that go together and stuff they never have time to be like alone and stuff um, so she's getting kind of fed up with it um, she breaks up with him before the apocalypse and he tries to get her back and you know save her and save everybody um, this movie w was really really good for a couple reasons because I knew it was a comedy like a spoof kind of on the like the zombie horror genre but there was actually a couple parts in this that there was zombies that popped up and there was like a couple of like jump scares that I didn't see coming when I first watched this. Um, I thought they did a great job um, like showing you almost like comedy and horror together and showing you like in the beginning the everyday lives of people and how much we kind of look like zombies already. You know what I mean? Like, like they kind of had that look where they, um, like the people were like standing at the bus stop or like doing their job, they already looked like zombies. And then when the zombie apocalypse actually happened, um, like Sean's just going through his day. He doesn't even notice, you know, in the beginning, he doesn't even notice that there's zombies all around him. He just thinks it's just an average day he's going. And they did a great job with that, like that, you know, the, the, the shot where he's just, Walking through the, the the you know across the street goes into the store like that was just awesome. You see blood on the door and he's looking away at the right time so he doesn't see the blood on the door. Uh, he even slips on a puddle of blood in the store like it's fantastic. Like he that's all great little details that you know that make the world so believable. Like even when he's putting the change down on the counter, uh, you can see the the uh, the clerk in the back like kind of starting to come forward as a zombie and he doesn't notice it he just leaves um then you have like um you know uh, like the, the there's a part where they go out they go drinking the night before uh they the apocalypse is starting to happen at this point this is before the part i just told you guys uh you know and they come out of the bar they're completely wasted they see a couple like making out in the corner well, they believe they're making out, and then as they're walking away, you see the guy's head falls off. So the girl was a zombie eating away at his neck. Like, that was cool. And uh, then you have, like, they're in the street, and they're kind of, like, humming a tune. They look over, there's a zombie, like, moaning, like, at the right time for the tune. So little things like that were, like, so nicely done. You know what I mean? Like, just amazing. Um, let me see. Have you... Um 
let me see. So they go. Uh, you know, he goes back to his place. He has, um, you know, Ed's playing video games like always. Uh, actually, no, I'm lying. At this point, Ed's looking out the back window and he sees a, a girl in the back, and it's uh, a one like a, a worker at the store. You know, and, the, and even at this point, they still don't realize that she's a zombie. They think she's trashed, and she, um, you know, they, they, there's even a part where she falls on top of Sean. He turns her head so that way Ed can get a photo of them. And then, uh, and then finally, when they push her and she falls onto a um, like an umbrella stand, I believe it was, and she's got a huge hole in her and gets up. That's when they realize, okay, this is something, you know, serious. Um, and you know, then th th that's when they, um, you know, another zombie comes in, a big guy comes in. They then board up, you know, they then go back into the house. They, um, you know. It, like another cool scene was when they, he's changing the channels and as he's changing the channels each clip is explaining that there's zombies running through the streets of London eating everybody you know what I mean and it was cool how they did it where as he's changing it's like different things it's like a sports ath uh, sports clip then it's like a, a song clip and then it's like you know news clip and it's each telling the story like saying that there's zombies and I thought that was really cool um they then, uh, you know, they then go, um, you know, they go to, they, they steal their roommate's car who had been bitten, and he turned into a zombie in the shower, apparently, because that's where they find him, and uh, they steal his car, they head to Liz's apartment, who she lives with um, uh, David and Diane, and um, they're like her best friends. And David like has like a crush on her or whatever, and um, but they go there. He ends up taking the three of them. They all go into uh, the stepfather's car because the step they they actually went to the parents' house first. Uh, got the mom, got the stepfather. The stepfather was bitten, and then they go pick up Liz and her friends. And then uh, on the way there, the father turns obviously. Um, but. You know, like another great part um, is when they're going through the backyards. Because at, at one, when the father turns, they leave the car, they they run off. And another great scene is they're going through the backyards, and sh and um, they find another group that matches them almost exactly. Like you, you have, the, you know, uh, Diane's character has like a hat, uh, like a beanie. The other group has a character with a beanie. You know, David has glasses and a leather coat. There's another group has it too. So really cool. And then after they pass them they see there's like a shortcut to get to um, the Winchester, which is the bar they're trying to get to or the pub they're trying to get to. And, you know, there's a bunch of fences there and Sean sees this opportunity to be like, you know, like a, a big shot and he goes to jump over the first fence and the, fe the fence collapses and he falls on, on his face pretty much. He gets up trying to dust it off. You know, um, you know, then, then like a neighbor attacks Sean, and everyone's just watching him, except for uh, Diane and um, and Liz. They're not watching. They're actually they actually contribute a little bit, but you know, it's just it was it was they did a good job like having that mix of comedy and actual horror. You know, um, like like then when they get to the Winchester, they actually like another part that's pretty funny is Sean turns on the lights, and when he turns on the lights behind him, there's a window. With a bunch of zombies up against it, and all he does is pull down the shade and walks away. You know what I mean? So like little things like that um, were just nice little touches. Um, the bar, the, the the pub owner attacks him at one point because he's already a zombie, and as they're hitting him with the like the the pool cues, they're hitting him to the beat of the song that's playing on the jukebox. You know, that was pretty funny as well. Um, yeah, I mean, I mean, th this is one of those movies that th th it's just I don't know. I mean, I can't think of anything bad. It was just so good, and and done so well. And like I said, you laugh, you kind of like are on the edge. You see a little bit because you know there are certain parts where you're kind of like, you know, they're kind of like um, close to dying, or there's some kind of suspenseful things happening, so that you're on the edge of your seat. You know. Um, but definitely, definitely a great movie. I mean, I've seen this movie a handful of times already, and I, 
each time I, it seems like I love it more you know what I mean it's just one of those that just it just does so it's so good and I'm glad I, I we ended up watching this one tonight um, I'm trying to think of what else I can tell you guys about it um, you have um, uh, Sean's mom also uh, doesn't make it she ends up getting bitten um, at one point too and uh, ends up turning um, so that's what I mean so there are moments like that where it's more serious because she turns uh, you know a couple of the friends don't make it either they end up uh, they end up you know like actually David gets ripped apart and his like stomach gets ripped out and stuff like that too so that's kind of rough too um, you know um, and that's pretty much it I mean a good majority of the movie takes place at the at the uh, the Winchester and um, and them kind of trying to hold the fort down there you know and the thing is too like Sean realizes once he gets there like he didn't fully think it through because there's not like much food there there's plenty to drink that's a place they know but there's big windows and there's not much food so he starts kind of second guessing that um, but yeah I mean it was an it was a it was a good movie, especially if you like zombie movies. You know what I mean. If you like zombie movies, it's definitely worth checking out. If you haven't yet, and um, and and then obviously if you're a Simon Pegg fan or a Nick Frost fan, definitely check it out too because they're fan they're, the whole cast I thought was amazing and I thought they did a great job the entire cast, um, and you know and like I said, this was the first time this was the first movie that I've ever seen. Simon Pegg or Nick Frost and I, I've never heard of these guys before and I fell in love with them instantly they, they they did such a great job with these characters this movie was so good that you know as soon as like Hot Fuzz came out or like um, uh, the other one there um, The World's End I, I had to check those out too because this one held such a high standard and um, and not only was it a great like comedy with it like comedy like spoof on the zombie genre it's just a good zombie movie period like this is probably one of the better zombie movies that I've ever seen um, so yeah that that that's what I think I, I love it fantastic movie and just awesome like it, only an hour and 40 minutes long so it's not a long film and um, you know I mean it was great so very happy so that's uh my quick look at Shaun of the Dead. Uh, thank you guys very much for watching. Please like, comment, and subscribe. Thank you guys very much. And uh, I'll see you guys later. Bye.